Hi, it's Bridget. Let's do a meditation today, or what I'd like to consider an activation. So you don't actually have to close your eyes or get all quiet. You can simply sit down or lie down, get at least give yourself an opportunity to be in a comfortable position. Obviously, don't listen to this if you're driving. I mean, that should be obvious, but should probably say that just in case. And so give yourself an opportunity to just relax into this moment, even if you're stressed or you've had a busy day, just kind of come into your center point. (sighs) Let's start with exhaling. Just exhale for me, will you? Take a nice deep exhale. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Just blow a bunch of air out. Go ahead. Blow it out your mouth, okay? Like, really blow it out. Like, you're blowing up a balloon. Like, come on. Ooh, I got a sigh in that one. Good job. (laughs) So you've noticed, in order to really exhale, you got to inhale. Mm-hmm. But sometimes when you focus so hard on inhaling, you really don't have enough room that's created inside your body to receive all that good oxygen, all that air. Air is very metaphysical. It's so spiritual, don't you know? The energy of air is connected to the element of light. And as you breathe in, just naturally breathe in now with the intention of receiving that air, that life source energy of air, you are also receiving metaphysically the energetic component of light. Air and light are working together as you gently breathe in and exhale out in a pattern, a rhythm that's normal for you. Just breathe yourself in a comfortable and aligned way that fits you. What your body needs right now. What does your body need right now? Does it need a stretch? Do you need to reach your arms up and just stretch for a second? That creates kind of a yawn and a sigh. Oh, give yourself permission. Show up as you are. Come as you are. You don't have to be fancy here. It's a meditation after all. Be yourself. That's what's being asked of you. Is that hard for you? Is that difficult? Begin with the simple intention of breathing. Yep, breathing with intention. Thinking about the fact that the air is coming in and it's going into your body, seeping into the places where it is most needed. Filling your lungs up, encouraging your lungs, warming your lungs. And as you exhale out, you're helping the energy to just move and flow in a way that is comfortable, creating some space for you, some room for you to breathe, room to breathe, room to breathe. And on your next in-breath, draw into your body, when you're thinking of the air coming in, draw into your body that light. Imagine light coming in. What color light would you be breathing in right now? Give yourself a moment to feel in the air as it's coming into the body and identify what color is the light that comes along with it. Air and light, air and light working together, breathing in and exhaling out. And allow that light energy with the beautiful color that was chosen specifically for you by your spiritual healing team of helpers and guides, known and perhaps not yet known to you. Supporting you, loving you, helping to hold you as you journey here today. Feeling into the energy of air as it absorbs into the lungs, into the tiredness of the heart and the muscles behind it. Just soothing the heart chakra and the physical heart as it pounds in the chest. As it beats in a rhythmic nature, connected to the rhythms of life from the past to the present to the future and beyond, honoring every step that you take, every stage of your life experience. All of these things are parts of you. Defined, underdefined, realized, 
and unseen, all of these stages, parts of you, parts of you. As you breathe in and exhale out, allow the light to come in and to be a supporter, a cheerleader of sorts to help to amplify where it is that you would like to focus. Where would you like to focus the healing element of air? Think of a part of your life that you would like to focus this on. Maybe it's perhaps a part of your body. Maybe you have a pain point in the body. (sighs) Give yourself permission to let the air go right to that spot, to create some room, to warm it up a bit or cool it down, whatever feels best for you. As you also bring in the element of light and allow the light to come in and to amplify the healing capacity within you, the natural healing ability that you have innately. As a spirit, as a soul, as your solar plexus, your spirit chakra is now active. Your spirit activates with the light element, regardless of the color you've chosen, the energy of the golden light of the solar plexus. Yes, I said golden light, like the sun, named after the sun chakra that it is known for, that amplification of light to help support you, encourage you, inspire you. Each opportunity for each new day is a fresh start, a new beginning, a choice of attitude, of perspective. Each day anew, each and every day anew. As you breathe in and exhale out, let this energy of light be focused onto one area. Beam your light toward one aspect of your life. It could be your health. It could be a relationship, career, finances, a new home perhaps, education, It could be absolutely anything. Let this light of your solar plexus and the light that you are breathing in with the air element focus on one aspect of your life. Now with that focus, we are going to amplify the energy of healing. We're going to wrap that circumstance, situation, or area of life topic. We're going to wrap it with a gorgeous energy of green. We're going to amplify the green energy. Green is connected to the heart chakra. Green is connected to the energy of opportunity, prosperity, abundance, expansion, and personal growth, giving you new ideas, a fresh look, a bit more of encouragement when you thought you may just be running out of that. You might need some more positive green vibrations. The energy of Archangel Raphael is also present with this particular amplification of healing. Raphael helps with healing in multiple aspects, regardless of religion, spiritual preference, or culture. Archangels work with all aspects of all people if you choose to invite them in. Archangel Raphael steps in and offers to assist in the amplification of the healing of the process for this portion of your life. Whatever area you chose, just imagine a green energy, a green circle wrapped around it as though you were going to write the name of that part of your life circumstance or situation down on a piece of paper. Big green circle, big highlighted, glittery amplification, neon green energy around it, encompassing it, enfolding it to create a safe and sacred space for your own individual and unique healing. This is medicine, the energy of air element, the energy of the light working together, create medicine, your own personal alchemy. Add it in with the green energy and the support of your personal alchemist, Archangel Raphael, to assist you in healing. So breathe in now, just breathe a nice deep breath in. And exhale out. Shh. Just release the air, soften the body. Let's do this again with the intention and the awareness of the green light and the alchemy of the energy of light and air, light and air, air and light, air and light. Working with this part of you, amplifying the healing, breathing in. And exhaling out. Allowing the energy to encompass you, your entire physical body with a gorgeous glow of green amplification energy of healing light, vibrating you up to that level of clearing and clarity that you desire and that you need amplification of the support that you have. Do you feel that at your back? Oh, yes, I sure feel that energy coming around the back 
creating a half moon shaped, a half circle at your back, your healing helpers, your team supporting you, cheering you on. These could be loved ones from the afterlife. Could be your favorite animal. Ooh, that owl totem that you like so much or that bluebird that's in your backyard or that little fox. Energy supporting you, walking beside you. It could be another archangel. Maybe it's a saint. Maybe it's a god-goddess aspect, one of those Egyptian goddesses like Bastet. Could be one of those Hindu goddesses like Lakshmi. It could be the Celtic sun god Lu or the Nordic shaman, a third eye, clairvoyant guide Odin. Just to name a few, there are a whole host of spiritual helpers, deities, animal totems, and earth elementals from all different realms that can be present at your back to get, got your back, we got your back to support you. And if you choose to embrace their energetic support, you can work on your own personal connection with each one of these individual members of your healing team in your own future meditations, such as a meditation to meet your spirit guide, um, prayer to connect with the energetic vibration. Perhaps you would use rocks, stones, or crystals to help bring in the vibration of the energy through light, through color of each of your spiritual helpers. Invite them in to be known. Let them introduce themselves to you Based on your personal invitation, grab your journal and write a letter to them. Talk to them, communicate if you choose to do that. But for now, as we're sitting here in this healing alchemical place, just know that, ooh, that spiritual guide team of support, they've got your back. We've got your back. We've got you. They're saying, we've got you. You will not fall. You will not falter. If you fall to your knees, you're falling forward, aren't you? We've got you. We will help scoop you up, bring you to your feet, and help you to continue along the aligned path, the aligned path that is well lit by the light that you're breathing in, by the energy of air that reinforces and affirms your life source energy, your connection to pure source, to God, creator, prime source, universe, to cosmic consciousness. You are fully aligned and fully connected as you breathe in and exhale out. You are supported, you are guided, and you are held. You are supported. You are guided and you are held with high regard, within a tremendous amount of support. And so it is. So take some time in this space. Be here now with this energy. Wrap it around you like a blanket. And come back to this meditation and activation whenever you need that connection. Whenever you need to feel the boost of support at your back, whenever you need to transmute a situation or circumstance, an area of your life that is challenging you, wrap it with Archangel Raphael's help in that healing green light energy. As you breathe in, you imagine it. You could write it down on a piece of paper and imagine that circled in green light, amplify that energy of alchemical green light connected with your solar plexus, your spirit chakra light, and air element. These things will come together and they will change the circumstance. They will shift your perspective. They will open you up to new opportunities. They will provide you with clarity through clearing, through shifting, through your own personal change. Ever so gently, ever so slightly, the shift can make all the difference. I believe in you. 100%. I believe in you. So stay in this space as long as you need. And then when you're ready, you can come back to your full human experience and expression. Usually I suggest that you literally feel your feet, grab your knees, squeeze those knees, wrap your arms around you, grab on your shoulders and just kind of squeeze your body like you're giving yourself a hug so you can feel your physical human body. Allow yourself to be grounded and centered into your physical lifetime now, your physical human body with your feet like the roots of a tree deep into the earth. Just 
reach those roots deep into the earth, ground your information, ground your energy here so that you can be centered in the present moment. This is where everything is accessible. Everything is available to you right here, right now in this present moment. Feet in the earth like the roots of a tree. Oh, just so strong in that vibration of connection. This is Bridget. It's been my pleasure to record for you this personal meditation. I hope it inspires your spirit and fills you with hope. If you're looking to find me, you'll probably find me on social media at Bridget Inspired on Facebook, Bridget Inspired on Instagram. You could check out my YouTube channels at Fairy Grasshopper or Above Life Channel. Thanks for listening.